running up and down milk crates, it seems these days, uh, Steve. Um, I, I had to laugh at this one, you know, the hashtag milk crate <laughs> challenge, um, the the crazy things that people get up to. It's funny because um, like unlike the, I guess, the ice bucket challenge, which I guess was for mm-hmm. charity or something, uh, this doesn't seem to have any obvious um, reason for doing it other than, you know, bu- boosting view counts and showing, uh, you know, the potential for injury, <laughs> I guess, <Well. laughs> um, which um, which is um, you know obviously amusing to watch um, when you're removed from it. But I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, I'm sure it was sore in a couple of occasions. But it's interesting, isn't it, that this type of thing um, it kind of explodes online. You just need a couple of people to do it, hashtag it, and then all of a sudden it's gone all the yeah. way around the world. Well, you know, I guess a challenge like this has got every element you need to make it unique and exciting and viewable. You know, so firstly, you got to get milk crates, okay? <laughs> so that means running around in the middle of the night, raiding the back of the supermarket or wherever you get them from and because you've got to get enough to build your pyramid or ramp or whatever it is you're doing. Then secondly, you know, these things, anyone who knows a milk crate will know they're a little bit squashy. So even if you, once you put them all together, they're going to, there's going to be a bit of flex, you know, uh, they do shift around. They don't not high friction like uh, plastic <laughs> or anything like that. So there's an element of danger and where there's an element of danger and a camera and things go wrong, you've got something watchable. <laughs> uh, so like, <laughs> it's no surprise to me that this is rating well. Oh, absolutely. Um, ironically, though, um, the uh, I guess if you want to call them, the fun police have come out. Um, the uh, TikToks of <laughs> fr- fresh off the press this morning, I saw the uh, that TikTok had uh, banned it um, for, you know, I don't know what their legalistic whatever comments were around you know um Uh, although it may may seem funny it's resulting in some less funny injuries i think was the wording that they used um uh, and they obviously didn't want to be seen promoting that sort of stuff um curious to see if i'm not sure if um some of the other social media platforms have banned it since um but it's i don't know if you can ever really stop this sort of thing anyway people will just do it unless you start banning all the users that are doing it i guess well, I, I mean, I'm just going to put this out there. Is TikTok banning it sort of mean that they're a publishing platform? Anyway, that's just uh, <laughs> that's just a question I'd like to ask. But um, mm. surely, you know, users should be able to share and, and like this stuff and, you know, laugh all the way while someone else is travelling to hospital. <laughs> I'm sure it's got something to do with liability. Um, uh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's tragic that people will do these things, but... Unfortunately, people have been doing these things for years and we've all seen this sort of stuff before on Australia's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> yes, indeed. And if anyone out there check the numerous um, compilation videos that um, some clever YouTubers have put together um, that uh, make for some very, very funny viewing. 